Greetings to you all. Welcome to Brinda's Memorable Moments. Golden Harvest Nowadays, if I ask my mother for any golden jewels, she says, go to school and reap the gold which you sowed when you were studying second standard. This makes me recollect what I did in my school when I was seven years old. Still I remember, though it happened years back. This incident happened when I was studying just second standard at Seventh Day Adventist School, Trivandrum, during 1982-81. One day, our science teacher taught us the germination of seed, its growth and its products. From that moment onwards, I thought of sowing something to reap its harvest. The next day, I consulted one of my friends, Jaya, about sewing my golden earring and asked for help. At that time, I was wearing a golden ear stud called raindrops. She also accepted my plan of sewing gold, hoping of reaping the gold in large quantity later. Both of us planned to sew my ear stud in the school ground during the morning interval. She removed both my ear studs and we put it beneath the ground in two different places. In the lunch break, we poured little water with our water bottle. Immediately, a part of my ear drops was visible on the ground. We both were very happy, thinking that the gold was growing fast. Having attended the class in the afternoon session, we poured water in the evening also. This time, half of my ear drops were seen on the ground. I felt extremely happy, thinking that the gold is growing so fast. On the way to my home, I informed this matter to my brother and sisters, though they scolded me for losing the ear stud and drops. I convinced them that I will reap large quantity very soon. Cheerfully, I went home and reported the matter to my mother. She began to scold me and beat me. She waited for my dad to come from the office. In the meantime, all the neighbors came and inquired the matter and laughed, teased, mocked and made fun of my silly behavior. On my dad's arrival, after half an hour, my mom informed him of the matter and my dad asked all of us to get ready to go to school for searching my ear stud. Immediately, all got ready and went to school to search where we sewed the ear stud. When we reached the school, I got confused of where I buried or sewed. As I was totally confused, I couldn't say anything properly. I simply said, near the well, near the tree, near the classroom and many, many places. All the people searched everywhere till the light got dim. Everyone became fed up of searching here and there. So we started back to our house. The total disappointment and frustration my dad and mom began to scold me all the way back to our home. I walked all the way back, crying, sobbing, weeping. From that day onwards, if I asked for any jewels or ornaments to my mother, she used to ask me to go to school and reap the gold harvest in a big lorry or barrels from where I sowed that is an SDA school Trivandrum. Though it happened years back, still it is green in my memory.